Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends gameplay. We're back on the PvE server because there's just so many more mages to play still. And personally, I've done, I've already done uh, uh, Malzahar and I already did Vladimir. In my opinion, Malzahar and Vladimir were probably the more interesting changes, the bigger changes, the one that people really wanted to see. So that's why I wanted to do those first. And I have to say, they were actually really, really damn cool. Like, I think Vladimir's new E ability is... Absolutely amazing, and I think uh, the fact that Malzahar now can summon his minions with his W is really cool. It's really, really cool. So, it, I, legitimately, I think Malzahar is actually a little too strong. Which is, I, he's a little too strong. But, either way, guys, I want to play some Bran in this one because I, I personally think Bran has the coolest change. I think his new passive is just absolutely wonderful now i like fire you know type champions they're like just fire characters a lot and when i play games i always like to play fire champs like not always but like for the most part you now i enjoy fire themed uh kind of characters so obviously brandon you know is a fire themed character and i really enjoy playing him and whenever he like when i heard he got a rework and when i got he got, he got a change and he just he is just a lot cooler now i'm like you know what out of all of the uh six major changes the six major reworks I think I like Brand the most, so I'm really excited to finally play him and show you guys possibly what he can do. Now, for the most part, honestly, he is kind of the same. Like his his Q, his W, his E, and his ultimate are. I'm pretty sure they're actually pretty much the exact same, except now his ultimate apparently slows, so which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but the main thing is, of course, his passive. His passive is nice, 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 nice. His passive is absolutely fantastic. So I really wanted to uh, kind of just showcase that and. I don't know. Like the main, thing, the main thing that's just kind of making me think about his passive that makes it maybe overpowered is uh, in a team fight. You know, when everyone's kind of grouped up, you know, it's a it's a pretty close team fight, and then your passive just starts going ham. You just start blowing people up. I think it'll be pretty damn cool. So pretty excited to see that. Put some nice little damage on him. You know, he's kind of going ham on me here, trying to like cue me everywhere. So, boom, Put some damage on him. Show him what happens when he tries going that ham on me. I want to wait for my uh, level two. Oh, I could have a free attack there. Boom. Oh, wow, wow look at that. Okay, that, the Zerath W range, the Zerath W range is uh, pretty... That was, that was some nice range on that. That's a, damn. That, I don't think they increased it though, but... I don't know. I'm gonna miss the CSC. I'm gonna miss that CSC. Nothing I can do about that. He's gonna start charging his Q okay, right now. Oh my god, this guy's... Whenever someone outranges Brand like, by this much, it's actually kind of difficult to uh, lane. I'm gonna get all my abilities here, I think. I wanna see if I can go ham on this guy. Ooh. What? I'm gonna miss this, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm tilted. I have to back, dude. I'm gonna have to back. He's outranging me really hard, so it's making things super, super difficult for me. But he's running out of mana, but I don't know. He does have a passive that just gives him free mana back, so. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I honestly don't think it's worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and back and just get boots because I'm gonna need the boots to get extra move speed to dodge his uh, to dodge his things. <clears throat> Man, Panzer Dragon on the Malzahar. He's playing AD Malzahar too, I believe. Oh my god, is he gonna live? I think he's gonna live. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't there. I wasn't there to save my team, man. I wasn't there to help him out. What the hell? These guys are kind of going ham. I feel like I don't know. This Draven though. What the fuck? What's he doing? Oh, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know, man. The, uh, kind of, I don't. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what he was trying to accomplish there, but I feel like he was definitely, uh, definitely overextending it. You know, by, by a little bit there, but just a little bit. I missed one, and then he explodes. Boom! I love it. I love it. I kind of, I feel like I can kill him, but I don't know. Max my W. I think max my. Oh my god! Goddamn it. I got boots, he doesn't. Okay, I wasn't sure if the W was gonna be enough to kill him, because, like, I don't really play Brand, like, a whole lot on the live servers, you know? Like, he's not my one of my main champions at all. Um, so, I'm not really, like, super, super comfortable in terms of just how much damage I have and when I have it, you know? So, there, I wasn't sure if my W and the passive was enough. Like, I just, I simply was not sure. Um, so, you know, it's better safe than sorry sometimes. I should throw out the W just in case, or the Ignite, rather, just in case, and uh, secure the kill. But uh, obviously, if I was more experienced with Brandon and I knew that maybe, you know what, that was enough to kill him, then obviously I wouldn't have done that. But I'm going to go ahead and make my way top. Our Vladimir is actually getting zoned pretty hard. He's half the CS. It's not good. 
But this enemy Vladimir looks like he's playing a very, very aggressive, so I think I can definitely catch him off with that. I'm kind of low on mana. I only have rotation for one spell and like one rotation of full spells, and I think maybe one more spell after that, but we'll see what happens. I got you, baby. I got you, man. I got you, bro. I got you. Thank you, XD. Thank you, XD, he says. Okay, uh, I kind of want to go for this. I'm going to go for this. Get for this. Brand has some pretty decent base damage, so you can definitely go with the new Catalyst. I think the new Catalyst, uh, the new Rod of Ages in general, is actually really good because... Um, the Catalyst itself is really, really cool because it gives you that really nice passive. 15% of damage taken from champions is gained as mana. And spending mana restores 20% of the cost as health. It's just really cool synergy. So, I like that a lot. And I'm comfortable with this guy. He's probably dead. A little, uh, little too hander. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And these, uh, luckily, see, that's why I have the Catalyst. Because now, I'm like, I'm pretty tanky. Like, I can, I can definitely take his, uh, Okay, I'm, I am missing CS left and right dude, this is embarrassing. But I can definitely take his poke now, so it's really, really good. And whenever he does poke me, well, he's just giving me, what, mana back or something? Yeah, so, I mean, by all means. I might go bottom, or I might go top. Um, I have flash ready, but I don't have ignite. I don't know if I can kill him. I really want the team fights to start. I think that's, that's where I'm going to start shining, man. The team fights with Brand. That's when things are going to start going pretty ham. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, it's I love you, man. Wow, nice night. Okay, I'll give him that one. What? Okay, put that fire on him there. I am the fire that cleanses the world. Oh, the range on that. Gorgeous. No, it's not enough, is it? Ah, it's not enough. Okay, okay. I, I deserve to die there. That was a nice uh, kind of a bait. The cause is coming in pretty nicely, so I'll take that. I accept that. Did the uh, Zerath barrier? I actually don't know if he buried or not. I thought I heard the sound effect of barrier, but I'm not actually sure if I saw it. But oh. um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Cedar Boots. I think Cedar Boots are pretty good here, because I just want to spam spells, but... Stork Boots are good as well. I'm not super familiar yet with the new AP items, because like some of them actually give... Like CDR when you, where you don't expect them to. For instance, Abyssal Scepter now gives CDR. That's not something you expect. Um, chances are I'm going to be getting the new AP item, which is this one right oh, here. This it. gives 10 CDR as well. It's 30% CDR just from those two items and, and my boots. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm still trying to figure out this, like, the whole like, new meta of this, you know, the AP rework and stuff and, like, what AP items are core and whatnot, on, you know, what champions. There we go, Booba. Let me see if I can come down there and make a play with Mr. Dragon. <clears throat> nah. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna work out. I'm gonna go back mid. Even though like I really kinda wanna dive them, I don't think we should. I feel like I shouldn't be walking this way either. Okay. I was legitimately expecting Kha'Zix to be sitting in this bush ready to kill me with uh, Zerath. And uh, Zerath is in this bush. He's gonna throw an E. He's gonna throw an E. He has to throw an E. Okay, he's not throwing an E. It's weird. <clears throat> Man, I'm at 38 CS 9 minutes in. Holy shit, that is so bad. Alright, I'm gonna start CSing more. I'm not CSing anywhere near enough right now, dude. Let's see, let's see. What can we do here? Man, okay. What? Damn. Let's take these bad boys here. You can have the big one. I'll take the small ones to make my CS counter look better. That's like the secret strat in mid lane now. You just take the small ones from the Wraith cap and it just makes your CS look like you're doing really, really well. Man, this, I'm not gonna lie, this is getting kinda of nice. This uh, Zarath poke is... Uh, it's definitely getting pretty annoying. 
Now, I, whenever I play Brown, I always wonder what I max second. Do I just max my E or do I just max my Q? A lot of people actually max their Q because it reduces the cooldown. So I'm gonna max my Q in, in uh, second and see what happens with that. But um, I get this just in case. And I get. I'm not gonna get any potions. Um. Hmm, so our bombing's not looking like they're doing super super hot. Our top is not doing not doing super super hot either. And I'm doing kind of okay mid lane. Like I'm definitely on par with CS, but my CS is half of what it should be. Well, not half, but it's definitely lower than it should be. But at least I'm three one, so hopefully I can transition that into something. But I need to get that rod of ages stacked up ASAP. Um. Yeah, I need thirteen hundred gold. What? Yeah. Well, tilted. Uh, I feel like once Malzahar gets his ultimate, it's a really easy kill mid. Okay, he's not using that on me, which is good. Barely escaped that. See, that's what the boots upgrade that helps me there, man. Like, it helps me escape those kind of scenarios, which is really useful. <clears throat> wow, that passive on him. Show him what's up. Yeah, once Master Master almost has his ultimate. Hopefully, maybe after he gets the Rift Hell, he can come mid, and we can, I think, get the kill on this guy pretty easily. Because uh, all he has to do is press R on him, and then I can chain to see him as well right after that. And then you know we have a lot of damage as well, so it, it should be a fairly easy kill. I'm walking through this though. How's the power? It's so close to his ultimate. Oh, mama. He flashed. Okay, I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna back in my blasting wand and then <laughs> give me that shit. <laughs> I actually didn't think my W would kill him. I was actually trying to help. I didn't think my W would kill the small ones, man. <laughs> Oops. I, I legitimately didn't think it was gonna kill him. I I have like 50 AP. That's like nothing, dude. I had 50 AP. <laughs> See, that's what I'm, that's what I mean when I say that the base damage on Brand is really not that bad. Like it's it's seriously not that bad. Um. Oh man, but I really want to kill this Brand. Like, oh rather this uh, Velka. Oh my God, I can't even talk right now. This Zera. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, okay, good. Uh, I wanna walk by, I wanna walk by. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, Mazar has ultimate. Let's see if we can. Oh man, these are kills. These are kills. Easy kills. Let's go, baby. Yeah, easy kills, easy kills. Very easy. I mean, I don't know. That, that, definitely, like when you get two kills like that bot lane, and uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna back. I'm seriously expecting Kha'Zix to be sitting somewhere waiting for me with the Zara. Okay, he's not. But when you get two kills like that bot lane, guys, you know, like if you're ever playing bot lane, you should almost never push in that far, especially when your ADC is pretty much at like 20% HP. Like you should, you should back. You should take the kills. You should back, and you should transition that into something after that. You know. Get another one of these bad boys. I want to go for that new fire item, the one that kind of pushes you forward. I don't think it's honestly, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't think this item is that good. Like, I seriously think that this item, this the ice one, is better. Like, the distance that this pushes you is so just not good. It's just it's as if it's not even pushing you anywhere. Like, you pretty much aren't going anywhere. Like, you're you're moving like a centimeter, like literally. So it's I don't know. It's not that crazy. Not that crazy, man. Oh, oh, oh my god, that, okay, that's just not hurt. I'm gonna go top though. An ally has been slain. Damn, dude. Never, never lucky, rubber ducky. Okay, there's a ward here, so they know. Uh, we can kill this guy, though. I think we can kill this guy. If, if Mazarar comes, we can definitely kill him. Let's see. Oh my god, that is so annoying. He's an old me. Fire. 
And the Zerath range got that Q spam is just it's hard to deal with, it really is. It really, really is hard to deal with. I wanna go ahead, I'm just I'm gonna get this item anyway, because it's new and I wanna still like test it out and just really get a feel for it, but I honestly don't think it's that good. Like I generally don't think it's that amazing. And I think the ice one might be um a better option in a lot of scenarios. But we'll see. Pants is actually out me, but he's he's taxing a lot, but he's he's actually out testing me. That's okay, I keep going bot, dude. These guys are just not having a good day down here. Nice kill, nice kill. Okay, I can't do anything right now with uh, Mr. Uh, Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is somewhere here, dude. Right here, right there. Oh, he ran. Does he have allies? He does have allies. Let's see if we can find this Vel'Koz. Nah, he's in the back somewhere. Oh, no, he's gonna go up here, dude. He's gonna go through here. He has to. There he is. I knew it. Tilted. Tilted! So tilted right now. Come on, please, please die. Please die. Tilted. Oh my god, this tentacle man, dude. Tilted! I can't believe I missed all my like, CC on him. <laughs> oh my god. Just I, I couldn't land it on him, man. He's, his his hitbox is so interesting, but I'm not gonna use that as, as an excuse. That was just that was just like I don't know, that was just me being stupid. Boom. Uh, get this. it's kind of weird that this builds from uh, a, a Kindle gem though. It's like a it's like a tanky. I guess it makes sense because this item essentially the purpose of this item I think is to kind of. Uh, you know, throw you in the middle of the team fight and have you essentially make a play. It's like a mini flash, right? It wants you to throw it, yourself into a team fight and just kind of do your thing and initiate or do some big play. So getting some, what? The fuck? What the hell? Is... Well, I don't know what's happening with bot. They're, they're, they're not having a good time though. They are not having a good time. This. I hope if this Zerath is around here right now, I'm so fucked. Okay, he's not. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is uh this is not looking super good right now. This is definitely not looking super good. I seriously don't think I can kill this Vladimir man. Like I legit oh my god, he's like full HP again. Holy shit. I don't think I can kill him. Vladimir is super strong right now. See if I can. I don't know. I'll, I'll sit in this bush and I'll, I'll, just, I'll pray I can do something. Man, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's find out. Okay. No! Got him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Please. I got him. Worth. Oh man. Okay. I've been really upset if that didn't happen. But, but okay, I got him. Oh, shit. Hi. Hi. Nice dodge. I think he has one more shot. No, I don't know. Yeah, he does. Oh my god. Wait, I think for every shot that Zerath now lands, I haven't played the new Zerath yet, but I think for every shot that Zerath now lands, he gets another one, right? So if he essentially lands all three of his shots, he'll have three extra shots. I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't played him yet, but that's what it seems like. Because he landed one shot and he had one extra shot, right? I think. Maybe he landed two shots and got one extra shot. I'm not sure. I need to like actually play him and figure that out. But essentially, for Zerath now, like if he lands shots, he gets extra shots. I don't, but I, don't, I just don't know how many shots. Um, now we should definitely come in and make a big play. Wow, Malzahar is level 15. That's insane. That is actually like, that's that's extremely fast. That's Draven, holy shit. Full assassin Draven, man, with the dust blade of Drakthar just going off. Just going off. Dodge it. Cool. Oh, you got the right. I got the Zerath. The Zerath ended up dying to my passive. The Cosmos is still very much alive. Nice dodge. I don't use my, my stupid item though. Come on, Vladimir, I believe. Does he have flash? If he has flash, he's dead. He does not flash. Um, okay, put the point in here. I think I'm about to get a Scepter. They have 
a fair amount of magic damage. But they also have a fair amount of physical damage. This is a hard one, man. This is a hard one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'll go for some Amar. I think I'll definitely go for some Amar. Abyssal Scepter is really good. It'll help myself and the Vladimir, uh, the Malzahar, and the Vladimir too. Um, and their Vladimir is really strong. Same with their Valkyrs. Nice dodge. Plus. Damn, dude. That was uh, definitely cutting it close a little bit there. Okay, I'm gonna back again. Get this uh, Amplifying Tomb going, and then we're gonna slowly start uh, working to finishing this Abyssal Scepter. Um, this is almost stacked up. This is at 7 out of 10 stacks. It still goes to 10 stacks, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So get this as well. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think if we can win this. This is gonna be a. Like, if, if we are gonna win this, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty difficult. We have no towers, and we're about half the kills. And this Draven is in the same way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! He just got obliterated. Oh my god. I think I might get obliterated too, though. Yeah, I'm good. No! Oh my god! I pressed flash. What the hell? I guess I didn't press, press fast enough. We're getting we're getting pretty wrecked, man. We're, we're definitely getting kind of wrecked here. Yeah, this is this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a challenging one, that's for sure, man. This is this is definitely gonna be a little bit challenging, but I think we can. I want to say I think we can pull through and win, but I I seriously don't think we can. But we'll see. Vladimir is like. Damn that kill. Did not do anything to him. Never lucky. Rubber ducky. I don't have home guards. I do have home guards. What the fuck? They're, they feel so slow. Did they reduce how fast it is? Or like, what the hell? Can I please land my abilities? Nice little play with that little new item, though. I have to say, you know, just kind of just go ham on them like that. Just, you know, instantly just get right into their face and just go ham. Just use your ability to do what you gotta do. Uh, we can definitely get this. Now, if somehow Draven ult steals it, that'll be pretty bad. But I think we can definitely get it. We need that tank here, yeah. Malzar can do this really fast because he can just keep summoning those little uh, void things that he has. So he can just... Like, Malzahar is really good at doing Baron, I think. I have enough for this as well, good. Okay. Da, 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 da. X, XD, man. Just XD. Okay. Um. So that's a good turnaround, but, man, we gotta, we gotta push through these big ass minions here. I don't, we don't have that much damage to push these minions right now, I feel like. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's getting chain CC'd of the ass. Peace, brother. Push this, push this. Man, is this the comeback? Is this the comeback? Is this the Pantsar Dragon with Mercy Carry? Boom! Explode! Yo, this is the comeback right here, man. Let's go. Push this hard. Push this hard right now. Let's go. No, what? Why would you dragon? No, no, no. Get these towers, get these towers, get these towers. Get these towers. We can go dragon after this though. We can definitely go dragon after this. What dragon is it? It's this one. What does this one offer? I think that one offers move speed. Let's go. 
So the way the new dragon works is actually oh we already have one of them. It's it's really really cool. I'm I I'm still not hundred percent sure, but I'm almost positive that okay this actually will confirm it. Once we get this, I think this will confirm it. But you can stack each specific dragon buff up to three times each. I think. Yeah. See, this is two stacks now. That is so cool. So you can have there's there's four different elemental dragons. One of them. So each elemental dragon gives you a certain buff, right? So that one gives you extra move speed for your team. Another one, the fire one gives you extra damage to champions. Um, the earth one gives you extra tower damage. And the blue one, the water one, gives you uh, extra regeneration. I'm like, pretty much out of mana. Oh, I missed my Q. Oh no. I completely missed my Q. This Vladimir shouldn't fight this. Uh, I think if I landed my Q, he would have died. I missed it, dude. I missed it. I need to get Rylize right now. Like, this is this is the item I need. Without question, Rylize, Crystal Scepter, is the item that I need this very second. Once I finish this, though, I think I'll be pretty damn strong. Um, this doesn't have offer CDR. Okay, no, it doesn't. I thought maybe this, like, low key offer CDR now, too. Nice damage, but you're dead. Careful, 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 careful. careful. He's gonna flash. Cool. You shouldn't do this, Caitlyn. You will die. You will probably get two shot. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. Very cool. Push and bot. Push and bot. Uh, inhibitor is respawning, which is really good, so don't have to deal with these big-ass annoying minions anymore, because they're really hard to deal with when, uh, your AD is not, you know, super ahead. Like, when your only AD damage is not, like, is, is pretty behind, those big ones are pretty difficult to deal with. But luckily, Mazahar is actually quite good against them, so. Now, one thing you'll notice with my build is I actually have no mana regeneration. Like, sure, I have, uh, you know, the Rod of Ages, which actually still gives me mana regeneration, doesn't it? Yeah, damage taken. Oh, okay, well, wow. that's actually not bad. Okay, never mind. Damn, I think the run new Rod of Ages is absolutely fantastic. I want to find this belt boss. It's kind of chilling. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this Vladimir is splitting this really, really hard, so... You do have to put a stop to him, and then I think if we put a stop to him, we can just goop down mid and just go super, super ham. And probably kill them. That was run, 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 run. Oh god, I hope that's not chilling in one of these bushes. Oh god. I hope that's not for me. It's not, okay. I'm just gonna back. I need to back. I need to heal up. I'm super, super low. An ally has been slain. I'm gonna back in here. I think we actually lost. I'm not gonna lie. Unless I can do something crazy here, I think we lost. Ah, uh, so yeah, he stalled long enough, so now I can't finish the game. Oh, I can't stop these guys from doing what they want to do here. I think it's gonna be GG, man. I think I can make some fat ass play right here, which I don't think I can. Draven is something else. Though. There it is, guys. I mean, you can't win them all. You know, you definitely can't win them all. So, either way, if you did enjoy this gameplay, I mean, there's some, you know, some pretty decent demonstration of brand, in my opinion. 
Um, and it's unfortunate we couldn't win, but that's okay. You know, you can't. You just you can't win them all. But if you guys did enjoy this one, you know, make sure to hit that like button and share this with your friends. Let other people see what this new brand can look like and what it can do. And uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this brand, and also if there's any of the uh, reworked mages that you want me to play, anything in particular. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thank all of you for watching. I really do. I really appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace, peace.